joining us on today's tip of the week. Today we're going to talk about the new feature that's been introduced in the 2013 version that allows you to update your claim. The way that the program is designed, that once the claim is created, that claim is no longer associated with the information that it pulled from. So that way if you change the patient's insurance or things like that, it's not going to go back and change the claims. Um, it'll leave the original claims the way they were. Now, if for whatever reason you want to fix certain claims. Maybe it's because they didn't pass their claim validation, which is also a new feature we'll touch on another time. Or something like that where you want to say, hey, let's go ahead and fix all these issues or any issues that might be there. So in our instance here, I've created some claims for James Davis. They all failed validation. And if we go in and look at um, what the reason behind that is, it tells us it's because the subscriber ID is not completed. So meaning that the information for this particular person, meaning that the insurance policy number is not, uh, meaning that the insurance policy number hasn't been filled out. So if we go to the billing for this person and we can see it's not in there, let's go ahead and enter that in. Then we'll save the changes. Now if we go back to our screen, we can, instead of just updating one claim at a time, we can shift click or control click and highlight as many of the claims as we want and we're going to update those claims. It's going to go through and fix whatever claims were part of that billing which you know might just be a couple, might be all of them, who knows in this particular instance, but it looks like uh, at least the first two were part of that billing. So this one if we wanted to do the same thing for that one we could go into that one, go to the billing associated with that one which that one was billing number one whereas the other one was billing number two. save it and now again we can update our claim from here if we want to or we can do it back from here in this case we'll just do the one claim that wasn't fixed originally and now all three of my claims are now ready to bill so if we want to do a mass update of any claims we can do that so let's go back to an entire list of people here this way we have a bunch more so if I wanted to you know highlight select a uh, bunch and then go down and select a few others. Again, it's going to update any of the claims that I've highlighted, no matter how many there are. And as we can see, as it goes through and updates the different people, the names of the people that it's updated at the time will display right here as it's going through. So it's kind of working its way down through. Um, you now it's on Page Davis here and, and so on. So that's the new feature, updating claims that makes correcting claims, especially those that have failed validation, very quick and simple. Thanks for joining us on today's tip of the week. We hope you'll join us again next time.